moving. I'm for whatever gets the freeway moving. Is spending a million dollars on that last three months of life for that patient, would it be better not to lay off the, those 10 teachers and to make that trade-up in medical costs? But that's called the death panel, uh, and you're not supposed to have that discussion. They told me to, uh, to say that they were sorry, uh, but that you had become unreliable. Is this the kind of society that you want to live in? Any kind of society that would do this to its children will do it to its senior citizens. It will do it to its dissidents. That kind of society will also eventually turn on its police, on its army, on its prison guards, on the quislings and the collaborators who make that possible. This is nothing but a suicide cult. The scoops are on their way. The scoops are on their way. Soylent Green means life. You will find out why Soylent Green means death. We gotta stop him! What is the secret of Soylent Green? Soylent Green is people! Next thing they'll be breeding is like cattle for food. You gotta tell them. Made in the 1970s, uh, now Pepsi does use babies in their secret flavoring. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Welcome back. Now, joining us in this segment is Leanne McAdoo. We're going to talk about Obama's push for gun control. Every time there's a shooting, he pushes for more gun control. But as I mentioned in the first segment, when he went on his shooting spree this Saturday, <laughs> where's the background check? Where's the waiting period for assassinations, for starting wars? We never even saw his ID, but he's called on the Democrat candidates to politicize this. And of course, Hillary Clinton is the first one to jump on this boat. Yeah, absolutely. So we saw him immediately saying, take this and run with it, politicize this event, get that elusive gun control that we have really been seeking. And now you recall that before he even took to his pulpit to deliver his sermon, he was told that Christians were targeted. He never once called for religious tolerance. It was all about gun control. So he completely avoided Of course, James Wood said, like is he going to sing Amazing Grace at the uh, funeral? Uh, right. Probably not. Yeah, okay. exactly. I mean, it's just blatant hypocrisy there. So of course, now the White House press secretary is pointing out that Obama does have some more executive actions on gun control up his sleeve, that he is working behind the scenes to, to deliver some more executive actions on gun control. No details on just what that is. Well, it's interesting because they've they've looked at this and they said, 
Well, okay, they got the last two shootings, they got their guns completely legally. And so there's really right. not too many cards that they can throw out there short of outright confiscation, which Obama very directly uh, talked about this weekend. He said, hey, we've got uh, societies like ours and UK and Australia where they just banned guns completely right. and they've almost stopped shootings there. <laughs> yeah, almost, it's almost yeah. worked. And so it's, it's almost like they're preparing us to accept that next phase of the gun confiscation yeah. because now the New York Times is pointing out how, how they got their guns. So they're, they're talking about just eight of, of, of the 14 recent mass shootings that have taken place. Um, criminal histories and documented mental health problems didn't prevent them from obtaining these guns. So now they're kind of saying, well, this, we want to expand this program that doesn't even work. So what's the next step once they do pass that universal background check? Well, now we're going to have to, it, we're going to, have to confiscate the guns because it's not working. Maybe they should confiscate the SSRIs. Maybe they should have registration of people with SSRIs. I mean, right. I would like to know as much as I would like to know if there's a sex offender in, in my area. I'd like to know who's on SSRIs because that has been the factor over and over again with these mass murder yep. suicides. And of course, people who are on SSRIs don't just use guns. They've right. used all kinds of weapons to kill Gamers, people. Axes, exactly. Machetes, and that's in the exactly themselves right. and their family. Yes. Taking prescription drugs, the way they're prescribed is the number one killer in the US. Mm -hmm. Way more than guns. So, but they're not gonna talk about that. Now, the New York Times, they only point out about eight people. Breitbart has pointed out that it's at least 25 people who have you know, passed these background checks. So Hillary, she has come out now, she's giving her gun control plan, uh, which includes she wants to abolish the legislation that, is, that protects gun makers and dealers from being sued by shooting victims. So she wants to go ahead uh, and repeal this Protection of Lawful Commerce and Arms Act that was passed in 2005 to shield gun makers uh, and retailers from any liability from a third party that would use their products. Well, she wants to repeal that. Um, and then, of course, she wants to expand background checks and make sure that you know domestic abusers can't purchase guns. But those laws already exist. You mean domestic abusers <laughs> like, like Hillary Clinton right. and Bill Clinton? Because we just learned that, <laughs> that Hillary Clinton uh, frequently beat up Bill. Uh, yeah. Dee Dee Myers said. I was told that he to tell everybody he cut himself shaving and then he came out with this big gash <laughs> on his face, which was not from shaving. They said that happened repeatedly. So she was very abusive of her spouse. And yeah. of course, we hear that he is very abusive of his mistresses as well. Right. So I guess they Hopefully should be on the on list. The list. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, now people are pointing out that this is going to be an opportunity for her to stand out from Bernie Sanders because she's even um, <clears throat> farther to the left than him because he he's kind of... Uh, torn on the issue of gun control, because obviously he's in a, a gun friendly state there. But uh, let's yeah, he's right on a few issues. Yeah, he's right on guns. He's right on the TPP. She's wrong on everything. Right. <laughs> everything. So yeah, Yeah, but no, she's great on SNL. Yeah, right. <laughs> so now let's point out that this this is already another family has already tried this. This is Sandy and Lonnie Phillips. You might re rem remember them. Now their daughter was killed uh, in the Aurora shooting. And they actually tried to go after the Lucky Gunner and Sportsman Guide, uh, the manufacturers there. I believe they're the people that uh, encountered Alex at the yes. uh, Alamo gun rally, weren't Very they? Very friendly folk. Yeah, yeah, he got in Alex's face. Yeah. And then he got in the face of the gun owners right. and he got slapped down. Tell us right. about that. And so then the, now this, this lawsuit was part of a larger effort by the Brady campaign to prevent gun violence. Uh, they wanted to expose unscrupulous gun dealers that ignore obvious warning signs and sell to customers with malicious intentions. So obviously they weren't able to prove that that was the case. And the judge threw this out uh, and now they actually owe Lucky Gunner about two hundred eighty thousand mm. dollars, you know, for all of their travel and all their court fees well, and everything. That's interesting so. because a manufacturer cannot know that they've got malicious intentions if right. they clear background checks. I mean, first of all, yeah, it's not the manufacturer who's involved in the transaction; it's a retailer who is a licensed firearm seller, as well as the FBI. And if the uh, FBI can't detect it, why should the gun manufacturer be able to detect that this is malicious? Exactly, and then you have someone you know, just making ammo. Mm -hmm. So they're way out of that transaction. But so. of course, what we heard from the father of this most recent shooter was that guns are killers. Don't buy guns, don't buy guns, don't buy guns, he said. And, and right. so that's the mentality is that anybody that manufactures a gun, there's an evil intent. 
because they don't see that guns can be used to protect people as well. Right, and cars, automobiles are a much bigger killer than guns. Mm -hmm. But are we gonna now start suing the automobile manufacturers for accidents? Probably will soon. You know, <laughs> and of probably course- Probably will use that argument to ban driving. I'm sure that's going down. Yeah, fight, but well, yeah. The, everything's dangerous and they just yeah. want to keep us safe mm -hmm. and protected. Mm -hmm. Give up so your now, freedoms. Yeah, now like you've mentioned earlier, obviously what is the number one thing that all of these things have in common? Suicide pills, SSRIs, and if Hillary Clinton really wanted to do something about it, she should do something about the complete legal immunity for big pharma. Mm -hmm. Now of course, you can sue them, but it's incredibly expensive. Uh, they make you jump through all of these loopholes to even bring a case. That's why normally if, if someone ever does go against big pharma, uh, it has to be a class action suit where multiple mm -hmm. people, people come together. But now the courts have even decided that that's not fair because everyone's individually different and they might not have all been injured in the same way. So they make it almost impossible for you to sue big pharma for all of these uh, things going on. But just like you said, I would wanna know who's on SSRIs. If you're one of these parents who's so upset because someone didn't get the measles shot in their school, but yet you're completely fine yes. with the fact yes. that there are a number of violent <laughs> acts committed yeah. where young children are at that yes. age where it specifically says, if you're at this age, um, you're gonna have 22 drug regulatory agency warnings actually say that they cause mania, psychosis, hostility, aggression, and homicidal ideation. And so <laughs> they, they go to a psychiatrist and for these particular situations, they're uh, depressive, uh, they're suicidal, and, and what do they get? They get a drug that exacerbates those very, uh, those very issues. And if they try to get off of the drug, the withdrawal symptoms exacerbate right. that. That's when they're the most dangerous exactly. is when they try to get off of these drugs. And so beyond the effects, the long-term effects of staying on this medication uh, indefinitely, as you pointed out, you've got these uh, uh, kids in schools and elsewhere as well as adults that are on these drugs, and they are walking time bombs in many exactly. cases. Yeah, well, the uh, CCHR International, they're a mental health watchdog. They point out uh, 35 school shooters or school-related violence that had been committed by people under the influence of psychiatric drugs. And it goes well beyond um, guns. It's also the use of knives, swords, mm -hmm, bombs, mm -hmm, and these mm -hmm. kids are committing suicide mm -hmm. at record numbers. Ropes, hammers, right. whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the issue. A gun is a tool. A gun can be used for good, it can be used for evil. You know, it was Joe Biden had the most inane comment about this, trying to politicize it, because he's, let's face it, he's gonna get in the race. I'm absolutely certain he's just biding his time, he's gonna get in. He said, the Second Amendment doesn't give you permission to have bazookas and fighter jets. No, it doesn't give you permission for anything. It recognizes your fundamental right, and that's where these people are wrong, and they're not gonna do this piecemeal by laws, by outlawing private transactions. That's the other part of what Hillary Clinton wants to do. Right. That's essentially what they're going to do with their closing of the gun show loophole. It's essentially outlawing private transactions. Nobody's gonna be able to legally comply with this. It's gonna be right. too risky. Well, that's why they continue to fail, because there is no loophole. They do background checks at mm -hmm. gun shows, so I think, mm -hmm. you know, they're they're just meandering well, around the facts. There's yet another uh, fight on our hands, and it's interesting to see how others are reacting to this, both Democrat and Republican. Again, you are never guaranteed that you're going to have rights. You always have to fight for them. Thank you for joining us. That's our news for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 Central, 8 p.m. on InfoWars. That's where you learn how to fight for your freedom, where people are coming for your freedoms. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.